Guys, I have never been so excited to show you guys a prospect in my entire life. This is way more important than the intro. I found the number one talent in the entire class, Jerome Berry, five-star running back. He's not a power back, but it says he is. 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 83 spin, 85 juke, 94 elusiveness. Now we have a 180 bonus on him and I can only assume it's because he's from Utah. But look at all the other schools trying to get in on the action, mate. Like, There's no way we're going to be able to get him. But I figured because he's from Utah, why not? I did insta commit one guy. There was only one guy I even put on. It was a 63 overall center, Jamie Stone. He's not very good at all. Usual thing, man, going after a couple of big name talent and then and of course, dripping down here, you got a couple guys who were just straight up interested in signing with Utah because they're not that good. With that being said, fellas, what is up? And welcome back to our NCAA 14 Ultra Rebuild on the channel, man. This is one of our final seasons with Utah State. Only got two more seasons with them. And I got one more important announcement, man. There's a lot of you saying you want more Madden content, like a lot more experiments and stuff. And there's a whole lot of you as well who want Alaska to come out more often. Now, I figured out a big ultimatum at how this could work. Because this is predominantly a sim series, I finally started up my Twitch page. So I'll leave the link down in the description for you to check out the NCAA. NCAA 14 Ultra Rebuild, this series right here, will officially become the series over on Twitch. Now, we will do a whole bunch of other things over there for fun, you know, Madden experiments and stuff like that. But for the most part, the Ultra Rebuild is moving over to Twitch. If you like this series and you want to keep up to date with it, you'll be able to watch all three seasons, mate, live over there. When it comes to the game time, I'll play it or I'll try to play it if my internet will allow me and then upload the footage over on YouTube. I'm really looking forward to streaming and I plan on doing it every second day. But if I'm not lazy, I will be streaming daily. Apart from the daily uploads, I don't know what time I'll be streaming, but you know what? We'll figure it out as time goes. Just make sure you're following me over there. Put on the little notification thing. You probably will be alerted for when I go live. I'm going to save my camera for the end of the episode. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So I think it's safe to say that Utah is definitely our rival. Uh, last year we lost to them, but our team's a lot better than they are now. And we get the dub, but it's quite convincing as well. 41 to 22. Wait, NCAA Player of the Week? No shit. Matt May is the senior quarterback. 318 yards, four touchdowns, six carries for 19 yards. Very, very impressive, my dude. Let's get it. There we go. 2 0, boys. Old Dominion was ranked in the top 25 last year, and now they're ranked 15. We're playing at Old Dominion as well, which is very, very intriguing. Let's get it, boys. Come on. We can knock them off. Let's go, man. 20 to 16. They were ranked 15th as well. Yeah, right. Got a couple of people ready to visit. I mean, hopefully we can instant commit them in this week. That would just save us a lot of time. Zach Thompson getting close. Kevin Martin getting close. Jerome Berry. We're in the discussion, mate. Fourth on him. Hopefully he doesn't uh, break away. But it doesn't appear to look like we're leading. Oh, hold on. Adam Gore, the cornerback. No instant commit. We got Marlon Freeman, the running back. No insta commit on him. Marlon. <laughs> what a name. Let's at least go check out the low lock percentage people. Hopefully we can find a gem potentially. Look at that. One, two, and three. We're all on their radar. Utah State. Imagine that. Uh, a couple of wide receivers. We don't need. If there's one thing we don't need, it's wide receivers. I'll take Patrick Holy Cross though. He looks like a receiver though, unfortunately. And then we got Dan Washington, the pass rusher. We'll chuck him on. Let's scout the defensive end. All right, 77 overall, I'll bring him to the top. If we beat a rank school, we definitely should be able to eat Wyoming. 100%, there we go. We've been dropping 40 bombs on literally every team. Like, it's, inc it, it's incredible. I guess that's that major Apple White influence, though. I don't even know what our schedule looks like. <laughs> I didn't even take the time to look at it. Patrick Holy Cross, got a mad name, though. He goes up to a 71. Uh, oh, he might even be a quarterback. We don't really need a quarterback, though, you know what I mean? Like, we'll be out of Utah before this guy even gets to start. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, my guy. All right, when's our first loss going to come? I don't want to jinx it, but Tulsa, these guys always beat me. I, what did I just say? Yeah, beat rank schools, all that, versus Tulsa, no way. And my coffee's gone cold, it's absolutely disgusting. Oh, wow, everybody either locked us out or went to another school. This guy went to Colorado State. This guy went to Boise State. Both of them are our rivals. Well, back to the grind. 
I don't mind when people that we don't really want sign to other schools. Like, it's not a big deal. It just annoys me when everybody is a wide receiver. We need DT defensive end, so that's a pretty good pickup. <laughs> Everybody's a defensive lineman or a wide receiver, except for Fogel. Good old Fogel. Like, we've dropped down so much on Zach Thompson, it's not even funny. And he hasn't even visited anybody yet. We're pretty much in the thousands for everybody. That's good. Rob Blair. Ooh, he's a gem, all right. Yeah, I'll put Patrick Holy Cross on there, why not? At least then we might be able to sign somebody. You know what? We're gonna take it a step back a little bit. Every point that just got taken away from us is gonna be invested in absolute mediocrity. So let's just filter by first. We got a two-star, no. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. What is this? A middle linebacker who's a 54 overall Juco. The Juco might surprise us though, man. If there's one thing I know, it's that the Juco's come out of nowhere and just turn out to be absolute gods. 56. Okay, so let's check this out. So Zach Thompson locked us out. We could potentially break back in though. 700 points back on him. Cedric Bell, the outside linebacker. We're just in contention to break that off. The Gamecocks are competing with us. How interesting is that? Our former team is trying to betray us. We're dropping down on Barry, which is kind of scary. Fresh Crow State, that should be an easy dub. There we go. I'm going to save one of the open the doors for Barry. That is 100% confirmed. Sean Allen, the tight end. This is this is not recoverable right here. Not 3,500. Oh, we can. That is so cheese. We just went from minus three and a half thousand to minus 800. Five and one, we're taking on Air Force, which kind of scares me a little bit. Air Force is always tricky team to verse, but not this time. We're dropping 40, 50 bombs, bro. Give us our rank. So Kevin Martin locked us out. It's only a 76 overall, but we've invested so much into him this far, we might as well still continue going after him, you know what I mean? So Jerome Berry's locked us out. Let's break our way back in. 700 points back on him, but we have two and four Boise this week. We've already got a bowl game in the bag. We're six and one. There we go. Another 40 bomb, mate. 40 bomb gods right here in Utah State, holding our opponents to 17 to 20 points every single game. Now it's going to suck when people lock us out because now we can't break our way back in. And we're still not ranked, mate. We have Colorado State next week. So many people are coming in this week. And we beat San Diego State, which is super rare for this specific dynasty. When you look at Major Applewide's record versus San Diego State and San Jose, we're probably one and five or one and six. And we're finally ranked! I'm scared of Utah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Now let's see if we can beat Colorado State. We're ranked 23rd, eight and one record. We always lose to these guys though. So I consider this week somewhat of a challenge. There's the 45 point dub, though it was a little bit more competitive this time. Major Applewhite finally levels up. And we sign Kevin Martin and Rob Blair from getting locked out to signing you, bro. Unfortunately, Jerome Berry is going to visit LSU in week 14. So you can pretty much kiss him goodbye. Uh, barely got the lead on any of these. Yeah, it's, it's looking like we're pretty much going to go downhill, mate. But you know what? We gave it a really, really good crack. But Jerome Berry, he just doesn't want to stay in Utah, mate. And we just lost in overtime to the Lobos. As I said last episode, man, this game works in mysterious ways. We'll just take all the trash cans, bro. Don't lose. There we go. Back to the 40 bombs. But unless Barry commits this week, then he's going to be in the signing day. And that's when we can attack. And same goes for everybody else. Unless they commit either this week or next week, then they will be in the signing week. We haven't committed anyone that was a huge name talent, but because we've been such a pesky mosquito over the whole season, we can afford to jump back in. Don't go to LSU, my guy. Come on. Like, I know you met Leonard Fournette and he said, come on, mate, come to LSU. No, no, go to Utah, man. We got to send the best person in Utah State history. No idea who that is, but uh, let me know down in the comment section. All right, fellas, here we go. Fingers crossed. There's four people who I really want to get. If any one of them commits, they officially are gone, but if they don't commit this week, then they will be in the signing day, so we'll be fine. Wow. I'm sure all four of those schools were probably saying, man, can you just ain't go away? No, we're not going away. And we get to verse Hawaii in the Mountain West Championship game. 11 and 2 on the season, and we finish ranked. And we get 6 and 6 Oregon State in the Maco Bowl. See, look at that. We survived the storm, fellas. Whoa, we killed Oregon State. This has got me looking so forward to next season, bro. Because our team is only going to get better. And you can only see it on Twitch TV forward slash Perm Crow. <laughs>
So we'll go check out the top 25 because I know we're all eager to see where everybody finished. All right, so we're ranked 13th, which is crazy. Let's go check out the top 25 polls. Can already probably guess who it's going to be, but Ohio stays in first, TCU in second. Bama was ranked second last week. They're now ranked sixth after losing to Ohio State, Michigan in fifth, Stanford, Notre Dame, Houston still kicking it, mate. They're still going hard. There we are, Utah State in 13th, ahead of LSU, Kansas, Georgia Tech, Duke is there georgia state and arkansas state are there vanderbilt still there florida oklahoma and california very interesting man no south carolina no nc state our current team is absolutely killing it my guy can't take a lot of the credit though because this game is very rng based though it's like quite the achievement to be this highly ranked at the overall we are we did have a really easy schedule as well so not trying to sugarcoat it from eight and five to seven and seven to twelve and two Okay, so we got a new defensive coordinator who is leaving our squad. I imagine Mays is going to be going. Yeah, he's a projected six rounder. Wow. Uh, Courtney Brooks, he's projected round five. Nick Adkins projected round three. We're losing a couple of 90s. Oh no! John Jackson is leaving! In case you don't know, that's the 97 XL guy. 15,000 points to allocate here. We have Zach Thompson, Jerome Berry, Sean Allen, the tight end, and Cedric Bell. Outside linebacker is definitely a team need. Tight end is also a team need. Running back really isn't, and center is kind of would be third. So four and a half thousand on Cedric Bell, four and a half thousand on Sean Allen. Give Zach Thompson like 3K, and then Jerome Berry like 2K. I think that's probably the way to go here. All right, boys, fingers crossed. Let's see what the other schools do. Utah State has gone incredibly overkill on trying to sign these other dudes. So maybe we'll get all four, maybe we'll get neither of them. I hope we get at least somebody. If we don't get one of them, then that's a rip. Oh, wow, really? Zach Thompson goes to Kentucky, Sean Allen goes to LSU, and Jerome Berry goes to LSU. We offered you four and a half thousand points. I mean, we did way better than LSU anyway. Just because they're a higher ranked school doesn't mean you should choose them necessarily. And the best week of all time training results. McBride, the quarterback, goes up to 97 overall. 93 speed, 93 acceleration. He's got pretty good, you know, intangibles. Good throw power, good throw accuracy. Holy crap, dude. This is going to be a really, really good season. Rodney Barber, our running back, is our second best player. He's got 96 speed, 93 acceleration, so we didn't miss out on much. Tyler Ward, another running back. I don't even remember signing Tyler Ward, bro. Then we got Caleb Yancey, 80. Yeah. So we're not incredible, but we're really solid all around. Like, our starting receiving core is going to max at 84, and our worst play is going to be 83. But some of them got a little bit of speed some of them got a lot of height as well that wasn't necessarily the craziest year ever sophomore freshman senior freshman senior junior majority of these guys are young players mate especially mcbride rodney barber is going to be a 94 next year tj ward's going to be a 92 yancey's gonna yancey's gonna leave but that being said fellas that is going to wrap up the final episode of the Ultra Rebuild here on YouTube. I will upload the games that we play on YouTube. But if you want to see this whole process live, as well as some other Madden content, and as well as three seasons probably in one stream, make sure you go follow the Twitch, man. I'm going to leave it as the top link in the description, man. Really look forward to starting up. Should be in the next couple days, I imagine. But that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care at all. You've been out all night. I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Not making any sense.